Hey guys, uh, if you've seen these, you know I'm redoing my videos because I didn't have a tripod for the other ones. Um, get started here. This is a Mel Pardue Custom. It's 100% handmade. I gotta say 100% now because some of the knives out there are... You know, they have a handmade handle with a CNC blade or vice versa. There's just something, that, I mean, that that's fine, but there's just something about handmade that I like. I appreciate it. It's, um... Mel Pardue's own Damascus. That's ten ninety five in nickel. Has fluted ivory scales. You have silver inlaid in between. It actually matches my little pug here. I showed this in another video nice little set here's the sheath here I'll go over the sheath in a minute um, what else it has Everything's hand done. Like the fluting is all done with a small file here. The um, even the screws, the pivot screws are hand made, uh, also hand filed. Full file work. There are titanium liners, fully filed. The back strap is filed. You can see it's a lightning pattern. You can see it kind of goes in a zigzag if you look it goes like that uh, one thing that I like about this knife and is kinda special from others there's no stop pin if you look if you look under there there's no stop pin the back strap itself has a little hump lip at the end and it that's what the blade rests on when it shuts and it's also what the blade hits as it opens I like that because it's lined up perfectly to the nearest you know one thousandth huh. I'm not a measurement genius but you know what I mean it has to be to the hair for the blade to be straight With a stop pin, you can adjust where you put it. In other words, if you open and your blade was like this, you know, you know you'd have to to lower your stop pin so it could straighten out. It's also a nice, a solid feeling. Like when you hit it, I most of my knives do have a stop pin, but this knife has a different feel when it opens. It's a, it's a more solid. A feeling it's weird like the stop pin kind of is like a hollow knock when it opens where this one's hitting this solid back strap that's all you know screwed into the titanium when it opens it just hits so nicely and it's not damaging it because I had this knife for four years and it's still straight and you know there's no damage going on the lock percentage you can see where it's at. It's been there since I got it. It hasn't moved. You can hear the stick. Just a slight stick. I actually like a little bit of a stick. I know people don't like, you know, they they like their locks early and, and not sticking. But to me, it means a solid lockup when it sticks. It's just a solid stable lockup in my opinion 
I have knives that are early also. But I prefer it just like this. You don't want it too hard to disengage because then your thumb's killing you, you know, by the end of the day. Because I open this thing and shut it about a hundred times a day at least. It's really smooth. The detent, you can see the um, it does not fall over its own weight. And the detent, once it's in there, there's no way it's coming out of there. But it opens so smoothly. Sometimes you got to sacrifice. You'll get one or the other. The detent's really strong, but then it's you know it doesn't open smooth, or the detent's really weak. Your knife opens nice and smooth, but then the blade's flying out of your knife. Alright, I just wanted to show you guys this in better light, and better, um, you know, more still, instead of all shaky. It's still done on a phone, so it's not perfect, but at least it's not shaking up and down and in the dark. Here's the sheath. This is a Chris Kravitz sheath. I had a custom made for it. As you can see, the, the sheath actually has a similar shape to the knife. I had to send this knife in to get this sheath made, which was pretty scary. I mean, you know, you're sending your favorite knife across the country. It can get lost, you know problems can happen but to get it made a hundred percent custom and form fitted like you can see how it fits in there <clears throat> you couldn't get it like that if um if I didn't send it in there's no way you could get a perfect fit without him building it around the knife itself It sticks, which is actually good because you don't want it flying out the top because there's no button lock on here. So you want it to stick a little. You don't want it to be able to fall out of there. It's a, a gray frog skin inlay. It's all hand tooled along the edge. He does great work. Again, that's... Chris Kravitz there. He's in Maine, as you can see. Alright, guys. Thanks for checking it out. See ya.